from the marine parks down at the coast to the parks up in the mountaintops, from the crater lakes in the arid north to the green dense parks in the west, the vast savannah, the stunning moorlands, scale up Africa's second highest mountain, snorkel through the marine parks down at the coast, explore ancient caves, go hiking, picnicking, camping, bird watching, cycling, fishing, rock climbing, take nature walks and horse rides in the wild. Spot the mighty, the majestic, the meek, the memorable, the magical, the magnificent, the marine, the massive and the miniature. This is Kenya. Welcome to our parks. For many, the name Kenya has always been synonymous with wildlife. The country is the home of Africa's famous Big Five. The lion, the elephant, the rhino, the leopard and the buffalo. And it is indeed true that Kenya is the best place on the continent to see these five magnificent species in their natural environment. Kenya's wildlife is diverse and varied just as is the role of the Kenya Wildlife Service. The organization is charged with the protection and conservation of the country's biodiversity, both inside and outside the country's 65 national parks and reserves, including their stunning marine parks. About 8% of Kenya's landmass is protected for wildlife conservation. The protected area is comprised of 23 terrestrial national parks, 28 terrestrial national reserves, 4 marine national parks, 6 marine national reserves and 4 national sanctuaries. Right in the heart of the capital city Nairobi is the Nairobi National Park famously referred to as the world's only wildlife capital. The park is undoubtedly Kenya's most accessible safari experience. At 117 square kilometers, this is one of Kenya's smaller parks, but with abundance and wildlife that can be viewed against a backdrop of stunning city skyscrapers. Being home to a dense population of black rhinos, the park has acquired the nickname Kifaru Ark, a testament to its success as a rhino sanctuary. Kifaru is the Swahili word for rhino. Regularly spotted species in the park include lion, gazelle, warthog, zebra, giraffe, ostrich and buffalo, and occasionally the resident cheetahs and leopards. The park's wetland areas also sustain approximately 400 bird species. Pretty picnic sites have been set out at different points in the park and provide for great viewing experiences in safety and among friends. The park is also ideal for overnight camping, weddings, parties and team building activities. Just an hour's drive from Nairobi and through the Great African Rift Valley is the Hell's Gate National Park. Covering an area of about 68 square kilometers, it is one of the few game parks in Kenya where visitors can walk, run or cycle alongside zebra, gazelles and other wildlife. The breathtaking scenery of this park has over the years inspired the filming of various Hollywood movies including King Solomon's Mines and Tomb Raider. Besides game, the park features the Fisher's Tower, a prominent volcanic plug standing 25 meters high over the surrounding flat valley floor. Seasoned rock climbing enthusiasts and beginners alike will often be spotted scaling their way up this imposing tower. The jewel of Hell's Gate, however, is all Njoroa Gorge, a 24 km deep ravine lined with sheer cliffs. It is endowed with hot water springs feeding a stream that meanders down the floor of the gorge as it cuts its way through the rugged and semi-arid surrounding landscape. 
the gorge widens out as it weaves its way down and out of the national park. It is arguably one of the most beautiful places to go for a hike. Further down the rift is Lake Nakuru National Park. The park is internationally known as an important bird area home to thousands of different bird species. The 188 square kilometer Lake Nakuru is the only Kenya Wildlife Service administered reserve that is fully enclosed. Once just a bird sanctuary, Lake Nakuru is now the best place in Kenya to see the highly protected black and white rhino. Other animals in the park include lion, leopard, flamingo, Egyptian geese, waterbuck, giraffe, impala, buffalo, baboons, vervet monkeys and gazelles. The park's most famous attraction is the colony of pelicans and flamingos that cover the lake in thousands. Visitors to the park can stay in the fully equipped KWS self-catering Naishi guest houses. The guest house is ideal for families and can comfortably accommodate groups of up to eight people. The cozy and warm guest house provide a safe haven for game watching at close proximity. Animals will usually be spotted at the watering hole just outside of the guest house. Nakuru National Park is rivaled in popularity by the Amboseli National Park Aptly referred to as Kilimanjaro Royal Court, this is a popular park with breathtaking views of Africa's highest mountain. A key attraction in the centrally placed Observation Hill, which offers great views of the plains below. Amboseli is home to more than 50 species of mammal, including elephant, hippo, cheetah, leopard, hyenas, and much more. This park is one of the most photographed wildlife areas in the world. Huge elephant herds stroll across the plains with a snow-capped peak of Kilimanjaro, forming one of the most recognized and iconic shots on the planet. Towards the eastern side of Amboseli lies the largest and oldest parks in the country the Savo East and West National Parks. These are located between the two cities of Nairobi and Mombasa. At nearly 22,000 square kilometers, the two Savo parks are among some of the world's largest. The slightly larger Savo East, fondly referred to as the theater of the wild, is generally flat with dry plains across which the Galana River flows. Other features include the Yata Plateau and the Lugard Falls. On the other side of the highway lies the land of lava, springs and man-eaters. Savo offers some of the most magnificent game drives in the world. Vast herds of dust-red elephants fat pods of hippo, giant crocodile, and a kaleidoscope of bird life are set against a blazing backdrop of endless bush. The KWS-run Kamboyo Guest House offers great and affordable accommodation for groups of up to 10. The house stands in its own grounds with magnificent views across the park. It has its own waterhole, visited day and night by a wide range of animals, especially buffalo, zebra and the mighty elephant. In contrast to the dry and dusty Savo, the Ebedair National Park with stunning views of majestic peaks, moorlands and waterfalls is a major attraction for travellers who love the outdoors and wildlife. The park is a perfect location for topography enthusiasts and for viewing Kenya's animals and birds. Ebedair is home to the second largest herd of endangered black rhinos. 
Many animals can be seen here, including African elephants and the elusive bongo antelope. The park provides great spots for fishing among the many cool mountain streams that flow through the Ebedere forest. With its clear tumbling streams, shaded river bends, mossy overhangs and meandering reaches. Accommodation is available at the self-contained KWS Fishing Lodge. The Ebedeers National Park can be compared to Mount Kenya Park as they are both areas of great scenic beauty and important water catchment areas. Inscribed by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site, Mount Kenya has been described as one of the most impressive landscapes in Eastern Africa. At slightly over 17,000 feet, this is Africa's second highest mountain, offering both easy and challenging ascents with superb views. The mountain is an awe-inspiring sight. Its ragged series of peaks are crowned with snow and its slopes are thick with forest. The mountain is best seen at dawn, when the day's early light silhouettes its impressive summit high over the surrounding plains. Since being discovered by the early explorers, trekking in Mount Kenya has attracted many adventure travelers. The KWS Batian and Sirimon guest houses within the park provide perfect accommodation for mountain climbers on the trek up and down from the mountain. Down from the mountain parks to the west of Kenya is a canopy of natural beauty. Kakamega Forest is famous for its diversity of plants, bird species, insect life and its uniqueness. It's Kenya's only remaining patch of the Guinea-Congolian rainforest, a rainforest that once spanned west and central Africa with its easternmost edge in Kenya. The forest, which is the only natural tropical rainforest left in Kenya, is a terrain of hardwood trees, swamps, rivers, glades and shallow forests. The park also supports more than 350 species of trees and seven primate species, including the endangered Debraza monkey, black and white colobus monkeys, and the vervet monkey. Also in western Kenya, the Kisumu Impala Sanctuary is located about three kilometers from Kisumu city and is home to free-ranging and captive animals, as well as home to over 115 species of birds and a variety of trees. The sanctuary has all the big five animals except the elephant and is a key site for research, education and recreation in the world. It makes for fun family outings, camping, nature walks and a fantastic wedding venue. In contrast to the plush parks in western Kenya, northern Kenya is arid country, scorched and roasting under the equatorial sun. The Northern Kenya parks include Sibiloi, Marsabit and Central Island Park in Lake Turkana. The ostriches here are the Somali version in which the males have blue skin and you can also spot the rare Gravy Zebra and strikingly marked reticulated giraffe. Lake Turkana has Africa's largest population of Nile crocodiles and the tiny Central Island National Park with its crater lakes within, is a renowned breeding area where hatchlings can often be seen. Marsabit National Park was made famous in the 1970s when it was home to many elephants that were reputed to have the longest tusks in Africa. One of the old bulls was called Ahmed, who was put under 24-hour surveillance by presidential decree. When he died, he was found to have tusks weighing over 300 kilos. These tusks are proudly displayed at the National Museum. Today, the park is still known for its elephants with their impressive tusks. In addition to terrestrial parks and reserves, Kenya has marine protected areas. 
They range from marine national parks in Malindi, Watamu, Mombasa, Kisite Mpunguti, and Kiunga Marine Park to the marine national reserves in Mombasa and Lamu. Underwater adventure activities in the marine parks include diving, windsurfing, water skiing, and glass bottom rides. To relax after rigorous activity, visitors can enjoy fantastic Kenyan weather as they sunbathe. Without a doubt, Kenya is endowed with an incredible range of wild habitats. From the open savanna, deep forests, soda and freshwater lakes, alpine meadows, coral reefs, caves, beaches, and river deltas, each housing its own range of species. A safari in Kenya means more than just seeing animals. It's a chance to immerse in a wild world where the fascinating natural behavior and interaction between species is guaranteed to keep you enthralled. Wherever you are in Kenya, take time out to explore and enjoy our diverse parks for truly memorable experiences.